Be either. Probably either the, the swamp, the flooded forest, you know, or it's it's a it's a mix up between the deserted island and uh, the volcano. But um, ah well. Did Sven make his name intentionally a cameo in Dead Rising 2? I don't think intentionally, no. But here's another like little uh, little fun tip. If you guys ever go play Age of Booty, if you look at the name of all the little towns, they're actually all named after a bunch of our PD team who worked on Age of Booty, uh, including Christian's name in there. Who's your favorite Japanese game company after Capcom? Ooh. Help me out here. You're going to have to tell me who it was. Uh, who's the company that uh, developed Demon Souls? I know Atlas produced it here for the West, but I can't remember who actually developed the game in Japan. But I'd have to say that that's probably one of my best and most liked Japanese games in a long time. So. Oh, it was From Software. Well, there you go. From Software also did, uh, they also did, uh, uh, Mohan Nikki. You know, a little, uh, feline Animal Crossing style game. So. So what would you like to add to a Monster Hunter game? I would like to add more stuff that you guys want. Seriously. Capcom will fire, what, what would? What was the question? Capcom would not fire me for what? Anyway, do you play MVC2? Actually, uh, I, I do play MVC2. One of my favorite things to play in MVC2 is, uh, like I was saying before, I love playing as a, an entirely surf bot team. I think it's hilarious. Most of the time I lose though. I'm not very good at it. Do you play Kingdom Hearts? Uh, occasionally. Uh, the last Kingdom Hearts that I played was actually on the DS. And so, I don't remember which one it was, but it was alright. It was good. Do you like Super Street Fighter 4? Yes. And I don't know why I'm terrible at Street Fighter, and I choose to pick one of the hardest characters to use, and that's Viper. So... Let's see. Has Yasu's reviews of Capcom game? He's ever pissed anyone off at Capcom. Uh, not me. I love watching Yahtzee stuff, uh, but I think uh, some of our producers and, and maybe some of the product managers who've actually, you know, worked, worked, uh, and that's the only game that they've worked on. I think it, it'll get to them a little bit. Uh, let's see. If you could pick a Monster Hunter character for MVC3, who would it be and why? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, so, are you talking like, um, you know, you're looking for like one of the, the humans or like the, uh, the mind guard, um, you know, race or... Make your onions, son, leashed. Yeah, Mega Man Legends used to be, used to go for super cheap and you were able to find it. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's, uh, since the announcement of Legends 3, they've been, um, because I ordered an extra copy to have, because uh, I like having multiple copies of Mega Man games. I ordered one from Amazon, I think, and they were selling it for 50. So I bought it from Amazon for 50. Um, it was from another retailer, brand new. But then immediately afterwards, like a day after, they sent me a notification that they had canceled my order because they don't have it in stock, which kind of sucks. Tronbon, oh my god, Tronbon is is close to impossible um, to find at a decent price. Uh, that run was so limited. I, I don't know. I, I I'm not gonna Google it right now, but I think I think that game's like easily you can easily find it over a hundred dollars to buy. Yes. 
Uh, what are my thoughts on Battle Network and Star Force? I've actually, I, after, I think, Zero. Zero was probably the last Mega Man game that I, that I focused on. I haven't really played too much with Battle Network or Star Force, so I really don't have an opinion on those. Uh, but that's something I've been meaning to check out. Gonzo, it's more annoying for you. I love me some guns or have guns will shoot. Um, I haven't... Uh, I think I love me some guns. Spamming, I love me some guns. It's probably more annoying for me. You are broken. I, it's not that I hate I love me some guns. I just hate when it gets spammed. How come IGN has MVC2 character art at their booth? That caused some confusion. Um, I don't know. That must have been some... Oh, you know what? Yeah, no, I have seen. They've been using a lot of MVC2 art. They also put MVC2 artwork on the lanyards that they've been giving out. Um, so they had like Zangief and they have... Um, uh, who else do they have? I forgot who else. Yeah, they had Zangief on there and they had... Uh, what's his name? Why am I blanking out his name? Bison, yeah, it was Zangief and Bison. So yeah, they've been using MVC2 art, and uh, it was really funny because someone came up to me yesterday and was like, "Look what I found over at IGN. These characters are..." Oh, sorry. And he what? No, I don't, I don't have a pen. Um, they were like. Hi. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so cool. Let me shift kids, they okay if I turn I really have. I heard you were in style. The library man, right? Try to head back yeah. There's more to fighting than brute strength. Oh, so now it's <laughs> Hey guys, I have that. No, I did not. Let me uh let me tell them who you are. So the giraffe is here. Do you guys remember who she is? She's um Normal. Normal.
So, Shiny is actually a very- So, I'm on actually Sean's Mac. This is Sean's Mac. Um, and I'm in the process of getting a Mac at work as well. So that we have a backup uh, Ustream system. So, if Sean can't go anywhere, we're not stranded. And uh, I can set it up or something like that. I know, that poster should be on sale. I, I think it's a really well done poster. The, the whole- Here, let me serve bot. Get ready to roll. I mean, that's that's amazing. That's, everyone's servoticized. Yeah, yeah. Kevin, have a seat. On my lap. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, there's a, there should be an extra chair in there. Do you want to come grab one? No extra chairs. All right. Let's, uh, let me see if that's the right one. Do, yes. Mic check, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. All right, let's start rapid. All right. Let me move this over here real quick. Sure. All right. Hi, Kevin. Hello. You want to say hi to Capcom Unity Land? Hello, Capcom Unity Land. <laughs> For those people that don't know you, do you want to tell them uh, a little bit about yourself and what you do? Sure. Uh, I work in the uh, California office. Um, I work with a group called Creative Services. We're the ones responsible for all the uh, collateral you get to see. So boxes, posters, print ads, videos, pretty much any of the advertising and fun extras. Uh, one, of the, one of my favorite things that you have done recently is um, our San Francisco... Well, it's not that recent. San Francisco Fight Club posters. Oh uh, yeah, no, that was actually one of the more fun projects because I got to kind of do a little bit something like Art Nouveau style takes on a couple of the characters, which was kind of a fun thing for me. Do you guys remember that? Do you guys remember the uh, the uh, San Francisco Fight Club uh, classy looking Street Fighter Four posters? Old timey looking. Yeah, uh, they were like old. They had Rose. Uh, yeah, we had Rose. We had Duncan, and we had um, I think Cody. Was Cody one of them? Yeah, the, the code is one of them. Yeah, they were really nice. Yeah. Well, I think there was even a uh, uh, Crimson Viper one as well. Yes. I well, remember. Somebody said they remembered. Awesome. So you're probably just as tired as I am at this point <laughs> from the convention. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's been it's been crazy, but it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. It's uh, first time in New York, and it's actually been a, a pretty good experience. I've really enjoyed it. It's your first time ever in New York? First time ever. So Wow. For, first day that we got here, I actually was like, okay, I need to actually get out and see the city <laughs> a little bit before I get stuck in the convention hall. Yeah. So that was good. Very cool. What are we watching here? Is this the big screen? This is the big screen. This is like cool. actual people who know how to fight. Yeah. Unlike me. <laughs> I just draw pretty pictures. I don't play games. <laughs> I was just telling him how um, how awesome Arthur looks in the new video that we posted. Oh yeah, no, and the, and the crowd reaction during the panel was amazing. Yeah, once everybody saw that Arthur was going to be in the game, the 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 crowd just went absolutely nuts. It was like a rock concert in there. I loved it. I, I bet you like just just with the little audio cue at the very beginning, people knew immediately who that was. Oh yeah, no, it, it took like no no time at all. As soon as we we said it. People heard the music, the place just erupted. And that, that panel was just crazy to begin with anyway because they kind of uh, had us in a little bit smaller room. We only had about 450 seats, but we oh, probably wow. cramped.